We're here at the Gulfport CRTC, had uh, the uh, Ohio National Guard out here. It sounds cliche to say a dream come true, but uh, you know, I grew up about a quarter of a mile from the south end of the runway here in Gulfport and grew up listening to F4s rattle and shake all the windows in my house taking off when I was a little kid all the way through the uh, transition to the F-16 for the Air National Guard. And, one of the roads right through the middle of the base here uh, was was uh, formerly, uh, before September 11th, was actually the public road that went through here. And there was nothing but a chain link fence between me and the flight line. And I spent a lot of time sitting out there on that flight line and uh, watching those jets and getting sprayed by the exhaust and coming home smelling like jet fuel and things like that. Uh, on the south end of the runway, there was a small field where I actually learned how to ride a motorcycle and spent a lot of my youth doing that. And I would stop pretty, pretty commonly and uh, watch the jets fly in and out. And it's hard to say how many hours of my life I probably spent at this airport watching military aircraft go in and out of this place. So, uh... The Empire's Affairs Affordable. Get you all strapped in. We'll leave you there, and then uh, body position rejection, what we talked about there, and the rudder pedal adjustments, okay? And then we'll make sure you understand all that. Um, if anything would happen to your pilot, getting the handle, knowing how to pull it, canopy jettison, making sure you know you get the canopy off the aircraft, and uh, body position rejection. And if something happens, you have a bad emergency and you have to punch out, we want to get a personal parachute canopy and make sure you know where your uh, main or shoot handle is and get away from the seat, get seat man separation, get up under your canopy and come down and do your post ejection checklist, which we talked about, right? Canopy, visor, mask, seat kit, LPU, four line, steer, prepare, eyes on the horizon, feet knees together, land and uh, release. Get rid of your parachute canopy. That's other stuff we talked about, okay? Check out the overview there. Single ship takeoffs in AB with 20 seconds between us. Uh, quick climbs are given up to 9,000 feet, so we'll do that and basically plan on uh, basically flowing runway heading off of that until they give us something different, which should be just a snap up to the north to get us going toward DeSoto. We'll do a 90 degree and a 180 degree turn there, guys. It's going to be a five-ish G on, on the first time just to get a, a feel for it, make sure the system's working, body feels good, system plugged in, and you actually feel some inflation on the, on the G bladders and everything. Uh, and then the second turn will be a 186 to 7 G, so you'll immediately with about a four to five G off the end of the runway and then get there and we'll get a good five G and then get about six to seven G. So we'll already be kind of ramping up to that. You'll have those rudder pedals down below that you can adjust those for your feet. And sometimes that works well to at least be able to put pressure on your legs because realizing what you want to do is get, you know, the large sections back in your calf really tight, getting your thigh really tight and then, you know, squeezing your, your rear end as hard as you really can so that everything else that's down here can kind of be pushed up. Um, the suit's going to help because it's just, you know, kind of backing you up and squeezing those things. Um, but the more you can do that and then tensing the rest of your body with kind of just a holding your breath. So deep breath to be able to hold with about a three second delay and then a kind of a quick um, exchange of air. So it, it, nothing more than enough to go, okay, I've used all of the, I've gotten most of the usable oxygen out of that breath and all I want to do is get it out and get another one in very quickly and then right back on that strain. Talk to the goose. <laughs> Fired up, pretty excited about it. And hopefully, the still return the favor and put me in the back of her bike around the track, having a couple of hot laps. That I would look forward to. So, she's about the most fired up and motivated person that I've seen in a long, long time. So I think she's going to do actually quite well. I'm going to take Josh Hayes up on the time of his life here for a ride in the F-16 Fighting Falcon, uh, better known as the Viper. Uh, we're going to go up and show him a little bit about what it's like to uh, get crushed by his own body weight under nine Gs. Uh, make, him, make him weigh well over 1,500 pounds upon his own body uh, and try to push him up and get him about 500 knots. He goes pretty fast around the track. We're going to show him how that fast is in the air uh, and try to put him through his paces. A little bit of uh, rolling maneuvers, a little bit of climbing, diving, and uh, just tumble and try to see if we can't get him to uh, see his breakfast again this morning. Yes, sir. 
Okay, one five one Roger, call me can you make that a little bit? Oh what a hole. Uh Roger. I was trying to see if that was our shadow or Melissa and Zeb coming up. Jake one heavy turn left any zero five zero. Right behind us. There they are. <laughs> Go for departure, Yamaha one so you love nine thousand. It's so crazy how high the like, Yeah. Yeah, we'll get down a little lower. I'll get down to the range and stuff here. And... Altitude. Altitude. Hey, watch out for man pads. Mistake, Zebby mistake. I hate it when he does that. Warning, 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 warning. Not only to get to fly in an F-16, but to get to do it right here with some of the things I was familiar with, some of the landmarks and things like that was just, uh, it was incredible. It was a great time. I cannot thank these people enough. Uh, Totally awesome. It was uh, the ride of a lifetime, and uh, it's pretty neat to uh, talk both uh, both Bunyan and uh, Zane. Yeah. yeah, right. Good deal. Thank you very much. That was Thumbs fun. up. <laughs> she did great. Oh yeah, nine G's full up, upside down, eight on rolls, little dog fighting. Good stuff. Oh yeah.